Hi, I'm going to talk about what solo taxonomy is to me, how I have implemented it in my teaching, and the impact on the children's learning that I feel it has had in my classroom and in my syndicate. One of the biggest things about solo is it's very user friendly. It's very easy to understand. Um, even from the initial stages, I found the children have grasped it. Having the, the visual representations, pictures along with it, has helped many different types of learners, your logical, your sequential, and your visual learners, it has really tapped into um, a number of different learning styles. From my point of view, it's given my teaching a lot more focus and direction. Picking out a lot of the key words and focusing on them within a session, moving through the levels that you get to work within, the children understand as you work through these levels, the more complex each activity, the deeper understanding that they must have to complete the activity to a satisfactory level. From a, a wider point of view, you've got the planning. It's so much easier to plan a whole unit. You just, you get your ideas, where you want to go, you work through your pre-structural, multi-structural, relational, extended abstract, bring up the different activities that you can use within each of those different levels of thinking and just work out activities to do with those key words. Uh, learning intentions, we are learning too with your success criteria, again, implementing those key words. The students' learning has been far greater, I believe, than what would have ever been possible without having it. gives not only the teaching, but the learning, a lot more focus and a lot more direction. It's a shame that we didn't have this sort of thing around when I was young and trying to learn because it's something that I personally have clipped onto um, very easily.